Lola friends, Dapper Drabby here, and welcome to another win and in match. We are in round three. We made it through to round three. Our next opponent is uh, B Bam Bootsman, so we're gonna go ahead and challenge him. Make sure we have our the right deck. It's not that one. Uh, <laughs> so let's go ahead and click uh, Metal. There we go. And it's still not that one. Come on usually is like stuck at the front so this is weird that it's stuck at the back this one the NAC one and we are ready to go we just gotta wait for his response we've gone over the deck several times before so you guys should know exactly what's in it at this point just waiting for that response make sure it's good let me know how you guys like to set up it is a slightly different than usual um, but oh yeah I wanna shout out want to shout out who my opponent is. His uh, YouTube is Gaming Pog. So Gaming Pog, P-O-G, is uh, his YouTube channel. I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description for that. If you guys want to go check him out, he should have his side of the battle up as well. Because he is also in this win and in tournament. Looks like he has a couple of matches up already. Ah, oh, man, a mulligan. I was afraid of that. Hmm. But we both mulligan. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Man, four metal energy. Uh, okay, so I think we're facing the same thing we've been facing, but he has an Ultra Necrozma and Dusk Mane sleeves. Must be a bait and switch. I think we're facing against Buzzhole again. Waiting for him to put his Buzzhole in the front active. If we start Lele again... Uh, I'm going to be ready to flip a table, because it's been frustrating how often I've been starting Lele with this deck when I play a single copy of Lele. But we got to let him uh, choose his. Uh, it looks like I got another mulligan here. Uh, I just got to click done and uh, wait for a new hand. We're starting Trubbish. We're starting Trubbish. So he knew I already played Garbodor. Uh... Yeah, we'll start Trubbish. We will keep that until they uh, throw in an energy. Um, I'm not sure who got to choose who's going first. I think I think he may be going first. I can't tell. I can't tell at all based on the information I'm giving. Yes, he's going first because he's able to put down a Brooklyn Hill before I can even touch a card. So what is our choice for this first turn? Um, oh, I didn't realize I didn't have water in that. Uh, floatstone on the Trubbish. Uh, mysterious treasure for Lele to get a lily, maybe? I guess that's the best option. It's really hard to say. And let me, uh, I wonder if you guys can actually hear the, uh, the desktop audio. There we go. It should be about even now. I'm going to put my water over here. What are we going to do? If we're facing another Buzz Hole like in Rock, I feel like I've seen this deck everywhere at this point. Not had a match where it's not against this deck. <sighs> but this is a best 2 out of 3 in case you guys were wondering. Um, if you guys watch my other winning and end uh, matches. If not, uh, I can totally tell you about them. So let's see. He got one energy there. We're definitely going to Flood Stone the Trubbish right away. Didn't get any special energy down, so we'll throw away a metal. We're going to have to grab that Lele. I hate to, but we're going to have to. Because we have both our Dusk Mains and our Sogaleo Prism. Uh, Beast Ring is in the prizes. That's a little rough, uh, especially if they go down. If we go down quickly. We got a Lily. And it looks like we have several energies in the uh, prizes as well. Two of them, it looks like. So let's go ahead and grab Lele. I almost feel like a Sycamore would be the best, wouldn't it? Probably would. I could Sycamore and play this whole thing and then play a Lily. So I guess that is the ultimate question. Like, okay, Lily is still the best supporter here. Because it is turn one. But it almost seems like it's best to... Ah, I was going to say, it seems like it might be best to max Elixir to Lele. 
And I still think I want to keep that Kartana for later. So we're going to go ahead and Lily. We get the DCE, but we attach that Metal Energy. Okay. We can throw down our Celesteela. That's going to be our best bet in this matchup. But Duskmane is generally what we uh, try to pivot on. So that they can, uh, they're going to try to take out Duskman because they know Duskman can one-shot them, not realizing that Celesteela has the uh, the 130 attack. That's really good. I wish I would have been able to replace this stadium, but I was not able to, which sucks. Let's take one more look, see if there's anything else that jumps out at us that we're missing. Looks like we're missing a Guzma because we play three of those. Could multi switch it, does me nothing. Uh, I think we're gonna keep it right there. If we would have hit that max elixir, we would have attacked with Lele. Get some vanilla damage down, but uh, it was just better. It was just better to make sure that we got the, uh, uh, the single energy down. I don't know. I wanted to make sure I got the max card pulls with, uh, with Lily, so that's why I ended up doing that. I prefer those energies to be on one of these two guys. So we got a Buzzhole. It's starting to get powered up with that strong energy. Looks like it can still only do Jet Punch, though. So we're going to want to watch out here because we don't want to give them free reign of their B-String. Go ahead and get down Reggie. Okay. Luckily, I don't think they can one-shot this. Let's see, 30, 50, 60. Yeah, they can. They can one-shot Trubbish. That's a little unfortunate. I guess I should have retreated the Trubbish into Lele because Lele can easy, more easily take the hit. And that way we'd have a Garbodor target as soon as we could. Oh, but they don't go for that. They go for the 60. They're leaving my Trubbish alive? Probably so that they can... um. Jet punch it later, maybe. I think they're thinking they're going to jet punch it later. That that seems to be the most optimal. Two. So if I end up using Celesteela, I can attack for 60, 90. We can hit for 90 for Ce with Celesteela. Which is probably my best bet. Max Elixir. I can... Maybe do the work with Celesteela here. Um, I wish I had the Fighting Fury Belt, though. We'll attach this. Retreat into Celesteela. Go ahead and multi-switch. And do we want to... I think we want to keep these resources. A lot of these are useful. So we're going to Cynthia... And hope we hit that Fighting Fury Belt. We hit it. Okay, good. We good. We hit the Fighting Fury Belt. We hit the Garbo Lock. And as a backup attacker, we can throw down this guy. But we're going to go ahead and blast a GX here. To put pressure on early. Grab RB String. Ooh, should we grab the B-String or not? Man, we have a lot of good prizes here. I feel like I want Ultra Space, but I feel like we can also draw Ultra Space. We don't really need Ultra Space. B-String is the most useful, and probably Guzma. Or Guzma and Float would have been the most interest, or most useful. That's a difficult prize choice. There's a lot of good prizes there. We prize a lot of good pieces of our puzzles. Right there is why I like Celesteela. He is not going to be able to revenge or KO it. Not very easily. And we got our uh, ability lock as well. He does have a lot of cards in hand, so he could maybe have the... Uh, he could maybe have the field blower, but uh, I'm banking that he will not. I'm glad this deck's running a little smoother than it was earlier. Uh, I heard a card, but I don't know what that card was. 
I didn't even see that card. Uh oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. That means the system's not running as smoothly as it's supposed to. They're gonna end us down to four. This is where it's gonna get a little rough for us because we we have to draw support, but it's a question of will it come up? Because I sometimes get stuck right here. Okay, so we can get we can ultra space, get trubbish, and we can garbador here. We do not have another lele. We got rid of that uh, in place of a couple unit energies, which may or may not have been a good idea when building this deck. I was trying to optimize this deck for this exact matchup. But it doesn't always it didn't didn't really pan out for me. But how many items has he played? He played one item. So he must be searching for his uh B string. I don't know if he hit it. I'm assuming I'm assuming he did not hit it. And I'm not sure if he knew that Garbador was out to block that uh evolution there. So the biggest threat to us right now is Lycanroc. Ooh, we just pull it. We just pulled the Trubbish. So we can go ahead and pop that Trubbish down. I think we're going to get rid of this here. And we might just one-hit knock out this, uh, this guy here. Let's go ahead and grab an Ultra Beast. I think we still have one. Uh... You know they're gonna play more special, so I guess we'll grab. Yeah, uh, we'll grab a Dusk Main. And our things are stuck. Our things are stuck. But uh, we still have six. Okay, so go ahead and grab Dusk Main here. We'll keep these cards until we absolutely need them. But for now, we're just gonna Moon Press for one hit KO on the baby buzz. Uh, what's the most useful? Probably the float stone. But we could do the energy as well because I don't think we attached that turn. Yeah, we didn't attach that turn because we didn't have it. So let's grab an energy. They're going to try to... They might try to GX here. Really? They're going to GX here? Wow. That's fine with me, actually. That's fine. That takes it out. Uh, I just got to hope, very much hope, for a uh, a top deck draw supporter here. So I'd really prefer to get get the first game. I'd love to get the first game because it's really what I need. I need it to uh, <sighs> try to move on. To be honest, to try to move on to the next round, I need this first game. Uh, the first time I face Buzzhole, like, Buzzhole can be so aggressive and just wallop you, so, like, being able to stall this out a little bit is, uh, helping me a lot. Thank you for the end, I think, because that gives me a little bit better of a chance for a draw supporter. Yes, Beast Ring, draw supporter. He got his Beast Ring to get two energies on that Buzzhole. That's fine with me. Um, I'm gonna definitely be string and pull out this guy. Uh, hopefully I can get another energy somehow. I think we're gonna have to use the Garbodor as a pivot here. But I'm, I'm tired of facing Buzzhole players, guys. <laughs> so tired of it. Uh, Buzzhole has been wrecking me. Okay, let's pivot onto the Garbodor here. Uh, okay, so I can do a couple things here. I mean, first option is clearly to Beast Ring. How many items have you played now? One, two, three, four. Still not enough to really bring out, bust out the uh, Garbodor for the win. Uh, that's like my trump card, I guess. We're going to Ultra Space first. And I think we want to... I don't think I can take out this uh, Lycan Rock with one hit. Eh, we still can't use our ability though. So we're going to grab our Dusk Main here. Uh, what is the play? What is the play? I feel like we have to Beast Ring into Dusk Main here. 
Yeah, we still have lots of energies. And attach that one. Throw this down. And I would love to just Guzma something up. Like this Reggie that's stuck. And stick him in the active. But... Doesn't really seem like the best option. So we're going to Cynthia here. We do not get what we want. Not at all, actually. Um, so he can He can only Claw Slash here this turn. It's a little rough. Um, but I think I'm going to have to do that. Claw Slash is all we got. We're going to have to take some damage next turn. And uh, deal with it. We could grab a Garbodor here. But the question is, do we need uh, Garbotoxin or do we need uh, the other one? And a few more. Uh, let's count how many more, actually. So there's one, two, three, four. There's four item cards there. And we need a total of, uh, I think we only need five. Yeah, we need five so that... We need five in order for Garbodor to take out the Buzzholes. But I would say that is our next turn. If they play a, uh, a Beast Ring or something here, uh, then we can lean onto Garbodor and use that as our, uh, as our last prize knockout. There's an Ultra Ball, so that's actually good enough. What's he going to grab? So a lot of these guys are playing this, uh, I'm not sure how similar this list is to the one that won Madison. Prob it's not, because this is playing three of the GXs. Uh, but uh, a lot of the guys that have been copying that list are still not playing the baby buzzholes as often as the, the buzzhole GXs. And uh, so it's been little easier to beat them with that because the Buzzhole GXs give you two prizes. The baby Buzzhole does only, give, only gives you one, as proven already right here. Since I have uh, three prizes to go, and I took out a baby Buzzhole and a big Buzzhole. He must have got it back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I took out, I guess. Pretty sure I took out a big boss hole. He must have pulled it back into his deck with the uh, thing. Sycamore stuff away. He's trying to get this, so he thinks I have no attacker afterwards. Problem is I only have one blend energy left. Unit energy. Sorry, not blend. There's a beast ring. So now our Garbodor can demolish our uh, the boss hole here. But he's trying to get up multiples. There's 140 left on him, which I'm fine with now. So he's taking out our Dusk main before we get a chance to attack here. That's a little unfortunate, but we can try to make this last two prizes harder for him to take out. That's not what we want. Um, how do we want to do this? We can Mysterious Treasure. Grab this guy. Yeah, grab this guy. The trash a lanch. Does anybody want a uh, float stone on? I guess we'll throw a float stone on him. We're going to go ahead and Cynthia. Grab this. And this is why we put this guy in here. We need to counter that and uh, metal energy. So our magic number to hit this next turn is 90. We need to hit 90 
with one energy. Or we have to hit 140. I don't think we can hit 140. We'd have to hit, what, two max elixirs? We'd have to hit two max elixirs. And a beast energy to hit that 140 mark. No, we'd still be short. We would still be short with Rusty Claws. But I'm pretty sure we still have to hit two max elixirs. So, we'll see what happens this round. But this buzzhole is definitely taking out this guy, which leaves us with, uh... At least just with this guy to try to win the game with. Unless we can get a uh, max elixir. No. Nope. 20, 40, 60. This is a rough spot to be in. We're going to both gonna be down to one prize, and I'm not sure who's going to take it. I think Buzzhold has the advantage, though, here. They're definitely taking out Trash Lantern. But that was definitely a big swing turn for us. Uh, considering I think this is our choice, we need to be able to max Elixir to it, but I feel like I need another one of these. Uh, Ultra Space. I only have an N. <laughs> grab Cartana, but it's nothing. Doesn't do anything for us. Uh, we can hit him for 90. But then we go down. So close. So close. Uh... Regirock's the heaviest, right? Yeah. He doesn't have double colorless, though. So the question is Octillery. Let's do Octillery. This is the only option I have. The only option I have right now. So he has to take out my Dusk Main, otherwise I win. Has a Float Stone. Balzo comes in and takes the first game. Ah! Too late for the well played. <sighs> so, let's go ahead and get our second game in. And see if we can fare better in this one than the last one. Shaking, that was so close! Ugh! He's probably looking at my list, seeing what he has to counter, which is that Celesteela. And that, uh, I was hoping not to bust out the Trash or Lanch until the final game or something, but... Ugh! Use my trump card, still got beat down. That is the power of Buzzhole. So we're just waiting for him to respond here. He must be looking at my at my list. That's the only thing I can think of. Or he lost his deck. Among uh, among everything. But yeah, this is definitely going to be my uh, this may be my last match, guys. Or everyone, I should say. Uh. He gave me a good game on the Discord. There we go. He, I guess, 
waited for mine to expire so he could ask me to... I don't know. Technically, I lost, so I should be choosing who goes first, but... You won the coin flip, I'm going first, yes. Okay. You kidding me? This deck never breaks like this. That's ridiculous. Uh, I would turn the hat around and get serious, guys, but... Uh, you can't get serious with this game. This game is just... meant to uh, wreck you, it looks like. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to throw out a Guzma first turn. So, Zealous Dealer is nice to see. They can sometimes do the work. Man. Terrible first hand. I think those two are my best bet. Already attached the energy. And I could at Guzma, but that's probably what he wants. So, he's starting this here because he has max elixirs, actually. No matter what he's putting, he's putting pressure on me though. Um, let's see, what do I want to do here? I still think I have to Sycamore. Yeah, I have to Sycamore. I hate to do that. I hate to do that. But, it's necessary. We can really put on some pressure next turn, though. Beast ring it up. Lele does this no good right now. Or beast, beast ring it up. Beast energy it up. Yeah, he had the float stun. Just set up. Just set up. He had the float stun. I guess he figured he should get the float on that as soon as possible, so might as well start it in case I have any shenanigans. What did he play to get that? No, oh, the altar of space. Yeah. I was like, what did he play? I didn't see a nest ball, altar ball, or anything. Still scared of my uh, little trubbish here. Uh, let's go ahead and altar space. We actually do not have our Cartana this turn, and that's something that would have helped us. That's something that would have helped us here, is a Cartana. Uh, is there any reason to play a different supporter than Cynthia? I don't think so. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the pressure on. Putting the beast energy there and going ahead and Cynthia. And see what we can pull. Beast ring and two max elixirs. Um, and get our Trubbish to a Garbodor as well. We don't have a... Uh, do not have a, a float stone to put on it. But let's go ahead and get ready for next turn. With the uh, big dusk main. Get him ready to battle. And rocket fall. For a clean 120 damage. So we can two-shot this one, and then baby guy's gonna come out and try to hit us for one shot. We can beast ring, he can beast ring. This is a lot of beast ringing, guys. Can definitely, yeah, he's, he's abusing my ultra space right now. So we might be able to toss our ultra space to get the garbo down. Okay, ultra space again. Grab that other desk main. And we can uh Yeah, we can throw away this ultra space to get down the garbo lock, which I know I hate doing it where it's so close to being knocked out. 
it is what it is. You can put this down. Throw away this other one. This is where we should grab the Lele. Yeah, this is where we should grab the Lele. Good thing I thought about that before going through with it. And so the Beast Ring we can use next turn when Celestila goes down. Celestila can take out this guy right now with what it has on it, so there's no reason to attach those. This is probably best here. You can Lele, grab Lily probably. I think I only want Lily because I want to keep the, uh, the Beast Ring in hand. I'm going to pull five cards here. Just give it that little boost. Wow, that's kind of cool. I think that makes it where he has to hit me one more time. Rocket fall. Going up in prizes. There's our Cartana. There's our, there's our Cartana right there. Now, if... Uh, we can put one energy here on Celesteela. We still have our Beast Ring. And we have access to the uh, Dusk Main here as well. We can put the Meteor Tempest. We are up in prizes, so we cannot uh, Sun Eclipse. Here comes another Buzzle. There goes that. And we can B string onto this and take out the one with the thing on it. So I think that's what we're going to do this turn. Yeah, we'll go ahead B string. Put that onto the Dusk Main. Uh, we have more stuff we can do. Okay, so. No reason to play uh, Kartana just yet. Nothing in here we can grab. It's only a B-string. We don't have any more Max Elixirs. So it looks like it's time to Guzma up. The one with energy on it. Go ahead and play this. We're not down in prizes, so we can't do that. We can... Um, yeah, actually, I think we just do this. Oh, we have the multi-switch for next turn, so let me do energy count here. We're going to discard three, right? Yeah, we're going to discard three. So, yeah, discard three, so we're going to want to do that. Meteor Tempest. Take some wind out of his sails. Grab two more prizes. There's a Max Elixir and a Guzma. Guzma is the saving grace for this. So we still don't have the ability lock. He's going to try to stall us, maybe. He needs to end us and uh, play a Lycan Rock right now. That That's what will help him win the game, is an N and a Lycan Rock. So that Beast Ring proving its power in both decks. But uh, let's see what he chooses here. Not sure what his option is. He's probably going to Cynthia. Okay. So he did not have the N. We get to keep all of our cards, which is great. Um, gets the Brooklet. Does he get the Lycan Rock to stall us? That is the question. Now, what is he going to attack with, too? Because, like, I have it in my hand. I have the unit energy and the multi-switch. I have just enough energies to hit with Meteor Tempest one more time. Choice Band, Beast Ring, Reggie Rocking. Uh, so how much damage is that? 30, 60, 90, 100 damage. And he's just going to go with that? 100 damage to the Duskmane? Is that the best option? Is that your final answer? Deancey, 120. 
Can he hit up to 190? I don't think so. 120. We get a flood stun. Okay, so let's go ahead. Throw that energy down. Since we have the ability, go ahead and show it off. Um, we, man, we have everything we need here. Ultra space, because we can. Unit energy, because we can. Multi-switch. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss something. And then Garbo Lock. For Meteor Tempest. Okay. <sighs> One more game, guys. One more game. Uh, one last game could go either way. <sighs> Just messaging him on Discord one more time. He just lost to Jimmy Pendarvis. Uh, I barely beat Marky Loves Cats. Uh, so let's see if I can make it past another balls, buzz hole player here. Uh, this is exhausting. <laughs> and I plan on going, I plan on going to Columbus for the NAIC. Uh, whatever I get, I'm going to let him go first. Uh, let him go first. It's generally the play. Oh man, that's what I'm starting with? That's a weird start. I start with all my energy and my energy retrieval. That's a weird start. I really hope I get something. So okay, he's gonna give me a couple cards. That's good. Finally not mulliganing. Ah, excuse me. Ah, I feel like I get heartburn from this. Okay, so Probably starting with Buzzhole. Yes, give me two cards, please. Start off with this bud here. And uh, we can get a Trubbish too. We're going to have to throw away a Beast Ring though in order to get started in this. But we can possibly still Galeo Radiant Star first turn. And he's got the Choice Band, okay. And he's got the Cynthia. <sighs> strong start. Strong start from my opponent. He's hoping for these max elixirs to really just go off and uh, start proving the power of the buzz hole. But mosquitoes versus lions, guys. Who do you think is going to win? The swole, swole mosquitoes, though. <laughs> they super swole. <laughs> Ultra Ball, is he going to Lele? He threw out his Octillery. I think he plays two, though. <sighs> okay, sorry for the breathing. He's got his rock roof out. I'm trying to drink my coffee so I can, like, stay awake. It is late. I am tired. Uh, ooh, wowza. I think I'm going to Mysterious Treasure for uh, Lily. Seriously. It's Max Elixir. Okay, good. We hit one of those. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm a mysterious treasure for a lily because beast, DCE, like I just have all the energies in here. The question is, I guess, do I want the DCE or the uh, the beast? I guess I go with the beast, right? No, the DCE allows me to discard differently. This is a rough game already for me. Alright, so my best bet is I can set up Dusk Main immediately. That's the thing. I can set up Dusk Main immediately right now. So the best choice here is to multi switch. DCE. Mysterious Treasure. 
throw out the B string. Uh, grab a Trubbish. We want to get those ability locks immediately. It looks like. Uh, and I hate to do this, but go without B string this game. Okay, we got another energy we can use. Mysterious treasure for a Lele if we want to. Um, but we're looking pretty good here. We can Ultra Space here. Uh, take out his special energy there. Yes, get rid of that strong. I, uh, let's save that. Oh, we, keep, we already have the Garbo. Um, should we have a serious treasure for a Lele? We don't really need to. We could get another Trubbish down. Um, I didn't really see any field blowers from him in the last two games. We have an energy down, so we do need another energy down. In order to power up stuff, so we'll go ahead and grab that other Trubbish actually. And we're going to have to dig for that float a couple float stones next turn. So we can get the lock and we can get this guy out of the active. But we're going to go ahead and Radiant Star. Grab two of the three and throw them onto the Duskmane Necrozma GX. So what I'm hoping I can do is attach another energy next turn. Switch out the active with Duskmane and take a... Uh, Take a couple prizes. The only problem with this is it really sets up his beast ring plays immediately. So that's a little problem. But we got rid of the, the strong energy. He's going to Lycan rock us right now. What's he going to grab? He's going after it, huh? That's interesting. So what he wants me to do is take out this buzz hole so he has access to his beast rings. That's what I foresee right there. He's also noticing that, you know, without if you don't use Lycan Rock early, I can lock it down. So that's why he's also probably playing it right away. So he's going for some quick damage. He's trying to set up the uh, the baby buzz in the next turn. That's what's going on here. Because he knows I don't have any other energy. Other than those two. DCE does not help me right now. That's a little unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Um, we can grab the Celestila. Because that really does some things for me. I don't want to do that, but I'm going to have to. We'll throw the... No, we'll, we'll just lock him down now. Maybe. Do I go for the double float or do I not? I don't think he plays Field Blower. I don't think he plays Field Blower. And it's a think. Uh, DCE is hard to throw out, as you've already seen. Because um, it's an easy thing to discard. So what's my play here? Because I want to <laughs> wanted to get a DCE on him and an energy on him. Uh... I say we we go for the lock. And we keep the DCE. We'll see how bad of a play that was. No matter what, this is the final uh, thing, by the way. We get the last energy. We can go ahead and uh, Meteor Tempest here. Okay, so I'm just trying to get my dot my eyes. Cross my T's, dot my eyes. Meteor Tempest. Discard that and one energy. And we're going to see if we can get another two energies on him next turn. Go ahead and take the two prizes. Yeah, Max Elixir, Metal. Okay, that's something, that's something we can work with. Can Max Elixir and... Uh, do some things. We just got to get off of the four prize, three prize range 
so that he can't go ahead and be string. We want to make those things as ineffective as possible. How many items have you played? One, two, three, four. He's not really worried about the item lock. If he does, or the item damage. If he does play one more item, though, uh, Garbodor, we can hook up right here and uh, go ahead and swing at this guy and do uh, the damage we need. So there's a beast ring. So he did set up the beast ring already. He's going to go with this one. And he's going to swing with this for 120 to knock out this. So he's trying to leave us with nothing to do next turn. Um, and Buzzhole is going to be able to continuously swing for 90 as long as we have four prizes. Uh, I want to leave two prizes out for two turns. That's not what I want. So hoping we can uh, Max Elixir, Beast Ring, all that jazz. <laughs> this next turn so we have three energies there Ooh, we do get the guzma we get the guzma that's something uh, I think we put down this guy uh, who do we max elixir to nobody we don't max elixir to anybody apparently now we have the end, we can get him down to four prizes, but it's the best choice. We can definitely... How many do I have in here? I have three energies that we can do stuff with. So I can attach here and sell a steel or be ready. Seems like the best option. And we'll save that. Uh, we're gonna end. get a unit energy and a float stone. Uh, didn't really help us there. We were hoping for a B-string, but we didn't get one. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Just because I didn't want to like put it back in. Uh, we get the float stone for the Garbodor if he unlocks that. Right now, we're just going to have the Radiant Star. That is a yikes moment because... Let's put two here. One there. That's our best bet, I guess. What we really need is a mysterious treasure. We have one more left in the deck, possibly. It might be in the prizes. If we get, if we get the mysterious treasure, we can Guzma out this guy, take him out, and uh, leave them with Lycan Rock as their attacker of choice. That seems to be the best option. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and set up the Lycan Rock for a, uh, a Dangerous Rogue. They know that they can one-shot anything to get a, uh, a Guzma. They can go ahead and take out the Celesteela and leave me with nothing else to do. That is their plan. It's the Dangerous Rogue Celesteela. Uh, my best plan is, you know, I hope they don't have the Guzma. And next turn, either come swinging with Celesteela... Or go ahead and uh, get that uh, Garbo lock and get the unit energy down on that. So the unit energy is going to be either for Celesteela or for this uh, Garbodor. But we got to get the... Okay, they end me down to four. So I'm fine with that. They're hoping they get that Guzma, but they didn't have it. So we have a Max Elixir and we got that one. So... But we have no draw support. We gotta hope we top deck a draw support here. They get the DNT. But we still have the trash lock here. Fatty Fury Belt does nothing on Garbodor, but we needed to guarantee that lock on these three. So we can only hit for 120 and cannot one shot our Sogalio Prism Star. Sogalio Prism Star is not super useful right now. Ugh. That hurts. Another beast ring on either one of these. I think he's going to go with this one, try to get the swing around. Swing around 20 damage for each head. That's not a lot. He's got a fully powered up buzzle over there, though. 
120 on the Sogaleo. Uh, what is the what is the choice here? So we have the float. We have everything we need. Uh, how many float stones has he played? I see one. We've only seen one float stone. He probably plays three, but I doubt they are in his hand. So he could pull up Regirock and swing with Duskmane. That might be an option. Let's go ahead and max Elixir and see what we hit. We do hit an energy, okay. So we actually could take out Regirock if we really wanted to here. And take out that option. That might be the best thing, but he's just going to come up and GX us our s as well. Hmm. How many prizes? How many items have you played? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So, you're doing 120, buddy. Uh, I think that is our play: is to take out the Red Rock. Not sure, cause he already got the double, double B string. We could always float stone this Celesteela if we need to. We're going to stick this guy on here so you can put some pressure. We're going to go ahead and Blaster GX, I think. So what does he do? 30, 30, 60, 90, 120. We could do 120 to this, but I think we just want to get him out of... Just get him out of B string range. Um, and what do we need here? Uh... We need a max elixir, I'd say, and a rescue stretcher, I guess. Because we have the Guzma in hand. Uh, I didn't realize that was our last Guzma, but it is what it is. They are going to get dangerous Rogus this turn. So two super close games, and then one game where I kind of ran away with it. Uh, he's a good... Rounds, Beast Energy, to take out the Celesteela. He's going to be able to do that 210 damage. I think, right? 160, 190. No, he's not. He has the Dangerous Rogue Celesteela right here. In order to get the knockout, he has the Dangerous Rogue. It's going to do 230. When you wish you had stuff switched around. We're going to pivot off of you. We have four energies there that we can play with. Uh, so what is our choice here? What is our choice? No draw support. That, that's rough. That's rough, that's all I can say about that. Uh, I say we bring the Celesteela back. Max Elixir to it. Split the energies. That really seems like the play here. Celesteela. Well, Celesteela has the resistance, but can only hit for 130. Duskmane has the power. Uh, but they can knock him out. Yeah, I'm going with Celesteela, because Celesteela survives by one. Okay, let's go ahead and max elixir. Get a metal energy. Sweet. Put that on Steela. We... We're gonna get five energies. How many do we have in here? We have four. We're gonna get all four of those energies. So we can put three... and one or something to that effect. Let's go with this here. We could Guzma stall again here. Pull out Dancy maybe. But our last, our last Guzma's there. Our last Guzma's in there. Um, I think we got this, just the way it is. He has the Guzma around this card in order for us not to get this. Because if he takes this. 
He has to take Celesteela right now. So I think we're good. I'm thinking of Guzming, but I don't think I want to. It's just Radiant Star, get these four energies back. Uh, you're definitely attacking. And the question here is, leave this with Rocket Fall, which does usually 120, or Moon Press, which does 130. Uh, yeah, we'll do it there. I think we're fine right there. He has to Guzma and take out the Kartana. Field Blower is in this deck. That might be the game. Takes out the Float Stone, the Fighting Fury Belt, um, gives him abilities, and he can Guzma up the Kartana for the game. So close. So close. So close. Had the game next turn. Had the game next turn. But there is the two losses. I am out of the team winning in tournament. That is super unfortunate. Uh, but eh, buzzhole, guys. Buzzhole is everywhere. If you don't play a direct counter to it, this is the things that happen. So I want to thank everybody so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I bid you guys aloha and hope to see you in another video.